and the time to laugh, and the time to mourn, and the time to dance. The Lord helps us out when we find ourselves in difficult situations. Now, this what I'm about to tell y'all people is 100% no embellishment so. I was doing a funeral several, several years ago, and uh, I did the, the funeral part, and then we went out to the graveside. I didn't have to do the graveside. Thank the Lord. Because what happened? We got out there, and the, the graveyard was up on, was on the side of the hill, and there's a road that, that kind of went to the top of the hill, and it come down to the bottom of the hill, kind of like a circle. And we, me and the preacher that was doing the, the graveside, we pulled up, the grave was up here on top of the hill. We pulled up here on the road, right there, not far from here, that door from the grave. The, the uh, funeral director pulled that whole procession down to the bottom of the hill down there. Well, the man that had died was a great big old man. And here comes them deacons up through there. And they're struggling to get him up that hill because he was a heavy man. And then poor deacon just carrying that dead man all up that hill and just sweat coming up that hill. And me and the other preacher were standing there watching them, you know. And they got up there, and the way we, we were standing, the grave, the headstone was right here, and the grave was behind it from where we stand. So we were standing there watching them. And when they come up, the, instead of taking that casket and bringing it over that grave and setting it down, they come up parallel to the grave. And so there was, there was these, the pallbearers, there was a grave there, and the pallbearers was holding that casket here, and the grave was right here. The pallbearer in the middle had on a brown polyester suit and pointy toe cowboy boots. And I, ain't, I am not lying when I tell y'all this. We just, me and other preachers standing there watching. He looked over, he's holding, he's in the middle. And he looked over, you know, and realized that they were going to have to get that man over that hole right there. <laughs> so he had a hole and he just looked over there and he just took his leg out like this and straddled it like this. And I was watching and I thought, I don't think that was a good idea right there. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, here's a great headstone. All of a sudden, now you see him, now you don't. Down the grave he went. Well, and, and I looked at the other preacher and I thought, Hey, he's gone. Well, here we go run over. The other pallbearers are still holding the dead man. They, they have watched what happened to him, and they are not going to do it. Well, we got over, and he had nine kids. People, he had reached up there and grabbed hold of that metal wrap, uh, metal wrap they put around that hole. He had grabbed it and pulled it himself about half. What time we got there? He was halfway up, like this, yeah, scared to death. And he had them one toe cowboy boots and just digging and trying, trying to find him a hole to get out. And he kept, and I, he was digging, and I said, and I said, it'll be all right. And he still just digging, as hard as he could dig like that with his feet. And so I reached over, I leaned over the headstone, and I grabbed him under his arm like this, because he was up close to was that. I grabbed him by the arm, and the other preacher grabbed him by the jacket, like that. And I said, and he is scared. He's still, the whole time, he's still just dead. Hard as he did. And so I, I had him, I kissed him, I said, it'll be all right, it'll be all right, I got you, I got you. Well, when the other preacher heard me say, I got you, he just let go and back up. <laughs> and just grabbed me, leaning across the headstone, holding that poor boy, and he's still just dead. He had to quit digging the whole time. He had done been down in there one time, he was not going to come back. So I finally, I pulled him like this and pulled him like this and finally got him up halfway over the side and he finally dug him cowboy boots in and he got out and he stood in there. And by this point, they had backed up with that casket and they brought him up, set him down and, it, and it, the people were still coming up the hill. They didn't see a lot. So everybody, all them pallbearers moved over here. And that tall bear that had fell in the grave, he was just as brush and hardly rough. And he got he backed up amongst them tall bears trying to but nothing happened. And I was standing I was standing there watching. And there was a tall bear right next to him, obviously he knew it. And this tall bear was standing here like this. And he looked over at the tall bear that fell in the grave and he said, I have never seen anything like that in my life. And the one that fell in the grave said, that's the first time it happened to me too. 